think tech news just grows on trees? Who told you about the tech news trees? Wow, we got a good harvest today. Really? What? Oh, shoot. At Facebook's Connect conference yesterday, real human Mark Zuckerberg finally ingested enough of Facebook's users' personal information to begin a metamorphosis of sorts. He's going all Jeff Goldblum, eventually emerging from his cocoon, reborn as Meta, the cyberpunk god of data. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Yeah, so Facebook, the company, is now called Meta because they had to do something about their image. Unfortunately, Facebook, the platform still exists, but it's now only one part of Meta's grand vision for the metaverse, a VR world meant to essentially replace the internet. Hilariously, Meta's own consulting CTO for VR, John Carmack, said in his Connect keynote that he thinks actively trying to build the metaverse is a bad idea, calling it a honeypot trap for tech dreamers. Sign me up. I don't get that. I don't get that. But we have to admit, Meta did announce some interesting stuff. They're phasing out the required Facebook login for VR headsets, which will soon be branded as Meta, not Oculus. Why? <laughs> and they teased a next-gen Project Cambria headset, which to me sounds like Cambridge Analytica is so smooshed together. <laughs> They're inspired. Fucking idiots. This thing is probably the leaked Oculus Pro, I think. We also saw impressively photorealistic avatars and a leak revealed Meta's upcoming smartwatch, which will have a notched camera. Apple got to them too. There's just so many things to talk about that aren't Leaked document showing Facebook is the worst company to build a metaverse ever. This is, what a relief. Woo. Long link fa Haugen till I die. Viva la Haugen. Um, excuse me? Intel also had an event this week. Did you forget? It's fine. After unveiling the 12th gen Alder Lake CPUs on Wednesday, Intel showed off some gaming demos with its XESS super sampling technology. Excess? Or cess? Poop. It actually looks like Intel may just give NVIDIA's DLSS a run for its money in terms of sharpness. Intel also had some other performance gains to report. The company's Aurora supercomputer is apparently capable of nearly double the performance it was initially expected to achieve because Team Blue's Ponte Vecchio GPU is way better than they thought. Well, what a, what a nice mistake. Excellent. It's a coincidence? <laughs> Intel says Aurora will be the industry's first two exaflop supercomputer when it's installed at the Argonne National Laboratory. Argonne. Argonne. Yeah. Argonne. Uh, Argonne? Uh, you never know with Americans. They say pasta. It's like so inconsistent. That'll be installed whenever the chip shortage allows that to happen. And it just takes the wind out of your sails, isn't it? So many cool tech, but you can't get it. <sighs> And speaking of giant computers, leaks are shedding light on AMD's plan for its epic server chips, and they got cores, we're telling ya. They're multiplying. AMD hasn't released its next-gen epic Genoa processors yet, which are expected to have 96 cores. 96 cores. But new leaks claim that Genoa will be followed by Bergamo, which is like the end of... <laughs> which really sounds like Inglorious Bastards pronunciation. Subscribe to their Just Movies. Uh, Bergamo is gonna feature 128 cores, which will be followed by Turin with 256 cores and 512 threads and a whopping 600 watt TDP. Wow. The leak comes from fairly accurate tipsters. So even though these releases may be delayed, at least we have something to dream about. What are you gonna, what am I gonna put all these cores? Imagine they just get made in America and shipped to your door. <laughs> Amazon Prime, two days, baby. Riley, if you're here, how can you be here? Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Wealthfront, the service that makes investing feel less like a roller coaster and more like a nice, stable gondola. It's easy and affordable to set up your account and let Wealthfront take care of the rest, but you can build your own portfolio too with accounts for everything from general savings to retirement. Invest in sectors you really believe in, like healthcare or clean energy tech. Just look at this product demo Wealthfront put together. The software is monitoring the portfolio so Wealthfront can rebalance it based on the client's preferences. It's looking for tax loss harvesting opportunities daily. It's learning to love the client for who they are inside. Whatever your investment goals are, Wealthfront has your back. So check them out and get a special sign-up bonus at the link below. In the metaverse, quick bits will appear as little sparkles of light floating into your ear holes and on the rim of your glass, if your avatar has ears. Google has added end-to-end -end encryption to voice calls between two mobile devices using Google Fi, making it the first service to have such a function. It won't work over traditional cellular connection. Both devices have to be using either Wi-Fi or voice over LTE, but at least you'll know you can say some things without Mark hearing. I don't even know if that's true. He has eyes everywhere. He's behind you. Ah, he's in the signal protocol. <laughs> <laughs> 
Recently, DJI launched its Ronin 4D, the first cinema camera to feature a built-in gimbal. Really, they were first? This thing looks wacky. The full frame sensor is located at the end of a gooseneck arm. You just wanna wrap your hand around their little necks, don't you? You just wanna shake them. Uh, but Corridor Digital says it's a perfect camera. What do you think, David? Pretty cool, isn't it? 100% pretty cool. Microsoft has done their old rival Apple a solid and identified a vulnerability in Mac OS. It's called Shrootless because they don't like Dwight. <laughs> There's no Dwight in sight. Actually, it's because it exploits a hole in the system integrity protection feature of Mac OS to allow an attacker to get root level privilege. Makes sense. Thankfully, Apple has already patched the flaw in currently supported versions of Mac OS Monterey, Catalina, and Big Sur. Sure they did. Though older versions may still be vulnerable. But don't worry, Mac users, Microsoft has your back unlike Windows users. Yeah, well, Microsoft yeah. has left us to die. Sony has officially named the publishing division it uses for PC ports to PlayStation PC LLC. In a filing spotted by Video Games Chronicle, all former PlayStation exclusive games that have come to PC were published under PlayStation Mobile label. So the change makes it look like Sony's serious about reaching the minority of PC gamers who also own a PlayStation console like David. Yes, yes, lend us your power. You cannot keep your games from us. We are the PlayStation All-Stars. Look at me, I am the PlayStation now. I'm Kratos. <laughs> I'm Kratos, <laughs> I wanna be Kratos. It's Halloween. And the US Army has awarded a joint contract to Boeing and General Atomics to develop a 300 kilowatt laser weapon. Laser guns, guys, Ooh. Dune, which would dwarf the power of the 30 kilowatt model the Navy was testing in 2014. That practically the Stone Age. Yeah, that's one for the kids. That's for children now. This baby could shoot down missiles, drones, and even helicopters and planes. Question, is it mobile? Can we wheel this thing over to Meta servers? Nip it right in the butt. Yeah, just take it out now before it grows too strong. Well, that's the end of this broadcast. I mean, and for my part, Metaverse sounds cool. I want it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Whatever. Yes, I do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use Meadow Signal instead of the Facebook crap, whatever. Come back on Monday uh, for more tech news approved by Boz. He's such a great guy. He even had a robot avatar, very cute. He's charming. He's, he's Mark's best friend. They're best friends.